Welcome to section 2, Building User Interfaces in Ionic. In this section, we'll be learning how we can build user interfaces using the built-in components in Ionic. And in this video, we are going to learn how we can create headers and footers in our Ionic applications. And we'll also learn how we can apply colors to Ionic components. So here we are back inside Visual Studio Code. This is the same application that we had created in the last section. If you look at our project folder, you can see that we have a folder called SRC and SRC here stands for source. It means that this folder will contain the source code of our application. We'll be spending most of our time during this course inside this folder. Inside this folder, we already have a folder called app which contains the code of our application. Inside the app folder, we'll create multiple folders as we progress. But as of now, you can see that we only have one folder and it is called home. The home folder contains all the files required by the home page of our application. So home.page.scss and home.page.html file define how the home page will look like and the home.page.ts file defines how the page will work. The home.page.spec.ts file is a file that is used for unit testing and the home.module.ts file defines a new module for each page in our application. Also, as you create more pages, with the name same as the name of the page inside the app folder. As of now, we just have one page inside our application, which is the home page and therefore we only have one folder inside the app folder called home. So let's go ahead and write some code inside home.page.html file. Inside this file, you can see that I already have a component called ion header. This component contains another component called ion toolbar, which further contains another component called ion title. The ion header component creates a header bar inside our application. It puts that header bar on the top of our page. The ion toolbar is used to add content to our ion header bar. Without the ion toolbar, ion header bar will not be visible. Inside our ion toolbar, we can use different components. We can use the ion title component to display some text as the title of the page, like it is done here, or we can also add some buttons. And just like we have created our ion header bar, we can also create our ion footer bar. So after my ion content, I'll paste in this code and I'll change ion header to ion footer and I'll save it. And as I save, because I have the development server running, you can see that the application is refreshed in the browser and I can see the footer now on the bottom of the page. So this is how you can add headers and footers to your application. You can also have multiple header bars, but it is usually advised to have only one header and one footer in each page of your application. If you want to have some UI components just below the title in your header bar, you can do that by placing in another ion toolbar just after the first toolbar and that will create an extended container inside your header bar and this can be used to put other UI components. Ideally, this is used in combination with an ion search bar component which is used to display a search bar in your header. Now that we know how we can create headers and footers in an Ionic application, let's have a look at how we can apply colors to these components. Ionic, out of the box, offers eight different colors. Those colors are called primary, secondary, tertiary, success, warning, danger, light, and dark. The default color of the header bar is the light color. You can apply different colors by specifying the color attribute on ion toolbar and the value of the color attribute can be any one of the eight colors. So if you type in primary, you'll get a nice blue header bar in your application. Similarly, if you type in secondary, you'll get a cyan colored bar. And if you type in danger, you'll get a red one. Feel free to try out all other colors that are available in Ionic. You can also specify colors on your ion toolbar in your ion footer if you want to have a colored footer as well. So if I go ahead and pass in a color attribute here and let's use warning as the color of ion toolbar inside our footer 
as I save, you can see that now I have an amber colored footer bar inside my application. So now that we know how we can create headers and footers in our Ionic application, and we also know what are the different colors available and how we can use those colors inside our application,